a knife unboxing for my mom. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing things very, very differently. We have an unboxing, but like I said in the intro, it isn't actually a knife that was destined for me. It's a knife that was destined for my mother. Now you're probably wondering why you're unboxing it on your channel and why is there a knife for your mother? Great questions. Well, a few months ago when my mom came to see me in Edmonton, we filmed a video together. You can find that video here. Now, essentially, I asked her a very difficult question. I said, out of all the knives on the wall, which is your favorite? You have a favorite if you take a look at the wall, not, not the block, not the rack, not the other two bars. I do. Um, it's the one that Describe has it. some gold on the blade. It almost looks as if they're waves. And the single knife that she pointed out was a 280 millimeter Kumai Giotto from Jamie Nerkowski. Hello there, my name is Jamie Nerkowski, also known as Jay in the Anvil on Instagram. A super talented knifesmith out of the UK. So Jamie, feeling like that was a very heartfelt moment, again, out of all knives, there's some unicorns in there. That's the one she chose. That's the one that caught her eye. That's important when it comes to consumerism. What we see is as important as then if we're satisfied with the product afterwards. So anyhow, point is, if you guys don't know Jamie, he's not just a knife smith, he is a fantastic advocate for using quality kitchen tools in your kitchen. And of course he crafts them, but he's also just an active and positive force in the kitchen life community. Super, super nice guy. Clearly so nice that he was like, oh, your mom chose, well, with a UK accent. Your mom's only gonna pick my knife off that rack. God bless her. I'm gonna have to make her a knife now. So he sent it to me. Now, of course, I know that that means I don't need to publicize him, but I want to. It's my way of saying thank you, even if it's a knife for my mom. So essentially what happened is I ended up spending 20 minutes with my mom on FaceTime trying to have her figure out how to screen record. I didn't tell her the knife was for her, of course. I instead said, you know, typically you get to see the videos on YouTube, but you love what I do. Why don't we unbox the knife together? I know I'm a clever guy. And she agreed. So we spent 20 minutes trying to figure out how to screen record. Finally, we were able to screen record, spent about nine minutes, half the time it took to figure out how to screen record on her iPhone XR, just to both end up with files that have no audio. Now, Frankie, how would you make such a mistake? Your main job is digital content specialist and uh, you work on YouTube videos. Don't you know that screen record doesn't capture audio? No. I do not, and for those of you wondering, the way you capture the audio from a screen record is you would hold the screen record button and then you would say also include microphone. Typically when I screen record is to go to a website so I can then use that footage of me scrolling, of me going to a specific URL in a video. But now I know. So, what happened next, and I'm going to show you the knife very soon, but what happened next is um, my mother and I both expressed our disappointment. I had this great video idea and it didn't pan out. but little actor she is a little bit like your boy Franco Allo in front of you that's why I'm in front of the camera because you got to be a bit of an actor she tried to capture how she felt as she went through the unboxing now of course this wasn't live anymore this was post live but I think it's hilarious so I'm gonna have you listen to it and I'm going to try as much as possible to sync the footage that you'll be seeing left and right with our screen records to what she's saying but I think it's hilarious I think it's cute she cried a little bit, so let's have a listen at what she sent me. I'm so excited for you to open this box. Yeah, it seems hard to open. Oh my god, look at the second box. It's really nice. If that is nice, I can just imagine the knife. Come on, show me. Oh, that is a gorgeous petty. What? It's 130 mm? Oh, that is really beautiful. Oh my god, I love it. That knife would look so much better on my knife board instead of yours, no? What, it's for me? You're kidding. Oh my God, I am so grateful. I love it, thank you, Jamie. There you have it. This beautiful 130 millimeter petty from Jamie Nerkowski is destined for my mom, so I don't even get to use it. Of course I could use it, I am the son after all but out of respect and because I think it's an absolutely gorgeous knife, I want her to use it. If you want to know what this knife is made of, some more specs, here's what Jamie sent me. Knife, 
130 millimeter petty Kumai 80 CV2, also kind of forged width, nickel, copper 80 CRV2 on each side with a black etch. The handle, which by the way, this handle is not only gorgeous, but the weight of the knife in hand is incredible. The handle is black maple burl with orange, white, and carbon fiber liners with carbon and copper signature pin. Man, that is a mouthful, and that's just describing the handle. Now, of course, he's got his classic cheers with the fist emoji followed by a... Whoa, I shouldn't point it this way. Yeah, yeah, that feels good. It's a nice knife for self-defense. Uh, fist emoji followed by a whiskey glass followed by a fist emoji. If you don't know Jamie, that is his signature emoji send-off. If ever he were to send you anything off, this is one of those occasions where I would say I think someone is uh, impersonating him. Jamie might be at risk. He might be imprisoned. We need to go save Jamie. He has to sign out with fist, whiskey glass fist. Also, super kind of him. Uh, I have his phone number, so what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Should I drop that so everyone can order knives from him directly? That's right, don't you spam him. This guy's lovely. So that's what he sent. He sent this beautiful 130 millimeter petty. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sad. I'm sad it's, it's going to my mom. Why? Because it's absolutely stunning. Because the weight in hand of this full tang is, is impeccable. It's gorgeous. It feels like a tool of substance. Um, we're always obsessed when it comes to Japanese kitchen knives with feather light. I want it to be balanced at the pinch grip. That's fine, this isn't that. Though it does have a bit of a Japanese wall handle feel. The whole build looks incredible. If this performs anything like his 280 millimeter, which is funny because that's the longest Gyoto I own. Um, and it performs really well. It's so thin, I remember tipping the tip Ow. when I cut a potato in that 280 millimeter video, which of course you can also find here. But yeah, so that's it guys. You know, thanks for joining me on this unboxing with my mom. Um, she's been asking me for days already, am I gonna get my knife? To which I responded, mother, you just got a free knife, which by the way, if you're interested in something like this, pry retail from Jamie at roughly 300 great British pounds. And so I told her essentially that, I'm like, hey, you're getting a very expensive knife for free just because you chose a knife on the wall. Who does that? Jamie does that. Jamie's amazing. Thank you so much. Hopefully my mom will send me some food performance videos, in which case I will include that in shorts and reels just so you can see it in action. If you guys don't know Jamie Nurkowski, please go reach out to him, get some knives built by him. I'll leave some links to his socials in the video description below. Otherwise, as always, even though this video is a bit different, I'm super appreciative that you came and watched. Like and subscribe, it goes a long way. And I'll see you next time. Hello everyone. So most of you don't know, except for my family, but this week I was actually gifted a special knife. It's a Petty 130 from Jamie. He's a blacksmith in the UK who loved the video that I did with my son back in Edmonton in October, where I chose one of his knives. And he said, well, you know what? Let's give this lady a new knife. And that's exactly what he did. So I'm gonna be my first time trying it. I think, according to my son, this is the thinnest blade that I actually have. Now let's see what happens. This is sharp, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's probably one of my sharpest knives. How lucky can I actually get? I might not have Frankie's techniques, but I can still cut pretty well. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'd like to say thank you again to Jamie for this wonderful gift. Much appreciated, and I will take care of it. Goodbye.